The immortal's thoughts displaced our bounded view. The immortal's thoughts, earth's drab idea and sense. All things now bore a deeper, heavenlier sense. A glad, clear harmony marked their truth's outline, reset the balance and measures of the world. Each shape showed its occult design, unveiled God's meaning in it for which it was made and the vivid splendor of his artist thought. A channel of the Mighty Mother's Choice A channel of the Mighty Mother's Choice The Immortal's Will took into its calm control our blind or erring government of life. A loose republic once of wants and needs, then bowed to the uncertain sovereign mind, life now obeyed to a diviner rule, and every act became an act of God. In the kingdom of the lotus of the heart, love chanting its pure hymeneal hymn made life and body mirrors of sacred joy, and all the emotions gave themselves to God. In the navel lotus's broad imperial range, its proud ambitions and its master lusts were tamed into instruments of a great calm sway to do a work of God on earthly soil. In the nether, in the narrow nether center's petty parts, its childish game of daily dwarf desires was changed into a sweet and boisterous play, a romp of little gods with life in time. In the deep place where once the serpent slept, there came a grip on matter's giant powers for large utilities in life's little space. A firm ground was made for heaven's descending might. Behind all reigned her sovereign, deathless soul. Casting aside its veil of ignorance, allied to God's and cosmic beings and powers, it built the harmony of its human state. Surrendered into the great World Mother's hands, only she obeyed her soul, supreme behest, in the enigma of the unconscious world. A secret soul behind, supporting all, is master and witness of our ignorant life, admits the person's look and nature's role. But once the hidden doors are flung apart, then the veiled king steps out in nature's front. A light comes down into the ignorance its heavy, painful knot loosens its grasp. The mind 
becomes a mastered instrument and life a hue and figure of the soul. All happy grows towards knowledge and towards bliss. A divine puissance then takes nature's place and pushes the movements of our body and mind, possessor of our passionate hopes and dreams, the beloved despot of our thoughts and acts. She streams into us with her unbound force, into mortal limbs, the immortal's rapture and power. An inner law of beauty shapes our lives. Our words become the natural speech of truth. Each thought is a ripple on a sea of light. <laughs> 